And if Swan R2 is just the opening act, what terrifying surprises are still hiding in the data? How it escaped detection. With all the technology aimed at the skies, you'd think every comet would be spotted months, even years, before it makes a close pass by Earth. That's what makes Swan R2 so unusual. It wasn't tracked, it wasn't predicted, and it wasn't sitting in the databases of PanStars, Atlas, or the other major sky surveys. It forced its way onto the stage only after an eruption made it bright enough to ignore. Here's how it slipped through. Most surveys are designed to look for faint, slowly moving dots against the background stars. They're excellent at spotting near-Earth asteroids because those are small and steady. Comets, though, are trickier. When they're far from the sun, they're just dark chunks of rock and ice, too dim for the systems to catch. Swan R2 was one of those faint wanderers coasting along without any noticeable activity. Until September, it was effectively invisible to all but the most powerful telescopes. And even then, it wasn't drawing attention. The outburst changed everything. As sunlight heated the surface, gases trapped beneath the crust suddenly vented, blasting dust into space and creating a visible coma. That coma scattered sunlight efficiently, turning Swan R2 into a glowing smear that popped up in surveys and telescopes almost overnight. What had been an anonymous rock on the edge of detectability became the brightest new object in the region of the sky it occupied. The fact that it avoided detection until that moment is more than just a curiosity. It highlights the limits of even the best monitoring system. Automated telescopes scan huge swaths of the sky every night, but they rely on consistency. Objects that stay faint and then flare suddenly can fall right through the cracks. 